Xinjiang covers a sixth of China's territory, but only about nine percent of its land is inhabitable. Yet this hostile desert is full of life, nourished by the Silk Road for centuries. As the Belt and Road Initiative enters its fifth year, come with us on a road trip to the heart of the Eurasian continent, the frontier of global commerce, and a melting pot of vibrant cultures. Border. This is Alipur Pass in Kazakhstan. It's right over there. Winter days here can be as many as 180 days in the year. But still, this place is favored by both ancient and modern traders. Well, I'm not surprised because the mountain pass here is a shortcut to enter China from the west. Yes. See those trains crossing the border to Kazakhstan? Uh -huh. They will be traveling across Central Asia, Eastern and Western Europe. Up to 70% of freight trains to Europe pass this border town. Here, rolling engines often drown out the holy wind. The China-Europe rail lines are just like the arteries of the modern land-based Silk Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, freight trains can be up to 20 days faster than by sea and at a much lower cost than by air. At first, freight trains from China would return half empty, but not anymore, according to a Weibo translator. Alato Pass is home to China's first direct oil pipeline from Central Asia. Every year it delivers 12 million tons of crude oil. Xinjiang's first bonded zone was also set up here. Companies can now reach raw materials and markets hassle-free. Hi, I'm from China. So one step further, I'm going home. One step forward, I'm going abroad. Actually, we are at the International Cooperation Center that straddles the China-Kazakhstan border. It's the world's first cross-border freight trade zone. So no restrictions for the movement of vehicles, personnel and goods. If you want to come, just bring your ID and a credit card. The entry is simple and quick. One enterprising Chinese company even set up a studio here to produce advertising clips, and young Kazakhs have been hired to serve TV shoppers back home. In Mongolia, Hogos means a place where caravans pass by, as it was a major trading post along the northern road of the Asian Silk Road. In Kazakh, Hogos is known as Kogos, or a place where wealth can be accumulated. Resonating with what is becoming today, a regional epicenter of transportation and trade. From Hogos to Belarus, it was about 10 to 15 days. Now it's about 5 to 6 days. Fruits, very good, delicious. Cherries from Uzbekistan, caviar from Kazakhstan, honey from Kyrgyzstan, smoked fish from Russia, and kebab from China's Xinjiang. We had a quick Silk Road feast before heading to our final destination. Kashka was once a trading center along the ancient Silk Road, where the northern and southern routes cross. Some of the houses here could date back hundreds of years. Walking in the narrow alleys is just like time travel. Let's go. Let's go. This oasis allows corn, wheat, rice, and cotton, as well as melons, grapes, apricots, peaches, and cherries to grow well. Well, it has now been revitalized by modern Silk Road to be again a regional hub of bustling business and different cultures. After I got my first job, and then I realized, wow, is that uh, this much a change or this much different? Yeah, I really liked it. The renovated old town is a favorite among the young and the old, 
locals and newcomers, and we are not the only ones here to absorb the history of the Silk Road. My dad, maybe seven or eight years ago, travelled to Kashir. We are really interested in history, and the Silk Road is one of the big, big things about that. So we decided to uh, follow the old uh, Silk Road, mm -hmm. the Chinese part from Urumqi to uh, Kashgar. Sitting here, it's not a wild stretch to imagine that ancient traders, caravans, struggle through the deserts in the east and stop here for a cup of tea before they went on another hard journey across the high mountains in the west, right? Yes, the locals come here to idle away their time, tourists to experience different cultures. And for business people, they may come here to look for new opportunities and partners. Belt and Road Initiative isn't just a powering development in Xinjiang. Now we all have bigger dreams. After five years of experimentation and exploration, the Asian Silk Road has been rekindled. The other thing is for sure, the initiative will define the 21st century. See, See you, you next, next time. time. It's a history of 2,000 years. Sorry, bad. Past this border town. Wow. <laughs> I don't know anything about this. <laughs> I work here. Um, ah! I had a model. Wow! 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 <laughs>